understanding the phrase redress hello dear viewers today we're going to dive into a very interesting english phrase redress by the end of this video you'll not only understand what it means but also how to use it in various contexts redress is a versatile word in english it can be used both as a noun and as a verb. At its core, redress is about setting something right or compensating for a wrong or harm. As a noun, it refers to a remedy or compensation for a wrong or grievance. For example, they sought redress for the damages caused to their property. As a verb, it means to remedy or set right an undesirable or unfair situation. For instance, the company redressed the imbalance by hiring more women engineers. Understanding the origin of a word can often help in remembering its meaning. The word, redress, comes from the old French word, redresser, which means, to set up, or, to erect. Over time, its meaning evolved focusing on the idea of setting something right or making amends. Using redress correctly in sentences can enhance your language skills. Let's go through some examples. 1. The government is taking steps to redress the economic inequalities in the country. 2. Victims are often looking for redress and an apology. 3. We must redress the power imbalance in our society. Just like with many English words, there are some common misconceptions or mistakes associated with redress. Let's address a few. Do not confuse with address. While address can mean dealing with a situation, redress specifically involves correcting or compensating for a wrong. Remember the context. Redress is often used in formal settings or when discussing justice, rights, or remedies. And there we have it. The phrase, redress, beautifully encapsulates the idea of making things right. Whether you're reading a legal document, a novel, or just having a conversation, knowing the essence of this term can certainly enrich your understanding. We hope this video has clarified its meaning and usage for you. Keep practicing, and until next time, keep learning.